Hello there. Welcome to a new session and in this session we are going to talk about the types of parameters that you can use for creating the parameter variables of stored procedure. As in the previous session we have already discussed that how to create a stored procedure but in that session I have discussed about these three types but I haven't discussed it in detail. So today we are going to discuss it in detail and going to understand it properly and we are going to create the example based on it. So that it, you will you will get better understanding about it or you will definitely understand this. So let's get started with the in type of parameter. As in types of parameters are read only. You can assume that they are read only or they are considered as constants. Like if you are creating an in type of parameter variable in a stored procedure then you can only use that variable for read only purpose. You cannot assign a value to that parameter variable inside the procedure. You can only use it for uh, or you can only use it as a constant. You cannot assign or you cannot modify the value of that parameter variable. So that's what the meaning in type of parameters. If we talk about out, out type of parameter, so if you want the parameter variables that you can modify the value inside the procedure and you can access those values outside the procedure, then you can use out type of parameter variables in the stored procedure. I will tell you the example when I will create the example then it would be more clear because now you will not be understanding that uh, uh, how we can use any variable outside of the procedure or how we, we can create it. So I will tell you that thing as well. And now let's talk about the in out. In out is the combination of in and out type of uh, parameter. In out type of parameter can be uh, can be used as constants as well as you can modify the value of those type of parameters. So let's see how to use it or uh, how to create examples of all these three types of parameters. Let's get started. If we talk about the in type of parameters, then in type parameters are quite easy starting from the out type of parameters. And if you haven't seen my previous video, then you can see it or you can watch it properly. And from there, you will understand the in type of parameters. I'm starting from the out type of parameter. So for out type of parameter, just assume that you have created a query. Select select count select count start from employee from employee table so what this or th this is a procedure just assume that this is a procedure and uh, you have created a procedure basically this is end this is begin so you have created a procedure now because of this because of this query uh, the, the number of employees present in the employee table would be displayed on the monitor screen. But assume that I want to store this count or I want to store the number of employees present in the employee table into a specific variable. So what should I do? So I will create the out type of variable first and I will use out type of parameter variable uh, inside this and I will store the value of the number of employees into uh, that specific variable. I will show you. Let me let me create an example for that. So let me change the delimiter delimiter as at the rate at or just hashtag. Okay, hashtag hashtag. Okay. So let me show the tables because I don't know how many tables I am having currently. Okay, I am having an employee table. Let me describe it. That what I am having into it. So describe employee. Sorry. So it is having employee ID, name, age and unique ID. Okay. So we are going to create that procedure now. So create, create procedure, create procedure. I hope you can see, let me zoom in. Okay. So create procedure, count, count employees. And in this count employee, we are giving, before, uh, before giving the out type of parameter, we should have to declare them. So for declaring it, you can use set keyword and set at the rate, set at the rate, let's say count, employees count, employees count is equal to zero, sorry, hashtag. So like this, you can create the global variables in SQL as well. So remember this thing, you will have to use set keyword and uh, whatever variable that you want to create you know, before or as a prefix, you will have to write or you will have to type and add the rate. So now we have created this variable, global variable. Uh, we, we, we will not be using this global variable in this uh, in this stored procedure. We will have to use it after it or after creating the stored procedure, we will be using it for calling purpose. Create procedure, employees count, 
sorry uh, sorry no not the employees comp uh, employee employee count okay and now we are going to give or we will have to give an out type or a variable to store the number of uh, number of employees in the table so we are giving out type of parameter variable and uh, it could be you can give any name integer count okay and remember that if you are having a single now single line of query or single sql statement then you can give it directly or you can write it direct without using the beginner end keyword so i'm not giving beginner and end because i'm just having a single line of query so select select count start select count start into into count so in this variable we are going to uh, we are going to store the result and select count star into count from employee employee team so okay our uh, our procedure has been created as you can see it is created now let me call the procedure by giving by giving call keyword call employee count and here we will have to use this variable employees count so i am using this employees count variable here employees count and just give the hashtag hashtag so i think some problem is there oh sorry yeah whenever you want to call the variable you have to give add the there as well so as you can see query okay one row affected and let me select the select add the rate employees count let's see what it gives oh sorry add hashtag so as you can see four number of employees present in the employee table let me see how many employees are there select star plum employee hashtag sorry okay so yeah four employees are there so as our our procedure is working properly so like this you can create the procedure or out type of parameter variables into procedure to edit the value of global variables into the sql